How you doing? Uh, Paul Faust, president of ringboost.com here. I uh, want to talk to you about something um, that I often talk about at conferences about phone numbers, which is I view them as an and, not an or. And what I mean by that is when you're looking at your budgets and how you're spending your money, some people will look at, you know, should I do radio or TV? Should I do billboards uh, or mailers or all this stuff? And what I often talk about is a phone number is an and because a phone number goes across all those things. If you're invest, let's say you're investing in billboards and, and you're starting with five billboards and in some markets, billboards can be, you know, 500 a month and other markets, they can be 5,000 a month. And let's say you put up those boards and they don't work. You run them for three months and they don't work and you take them down. Well, you've got nothing to show for it. The billboards are down. They didn't work. Same thing with a TV spot or a radio spot or a bus bench ad. But if you add the memorable phone number to it and your other marketing, if the boards aren't working for whatever reason and you take them down, the phone number is still on your brochures. It's still on your business card. People can still remember it. So I, I always like to uh, you know, tell people when you're looking at your budgets and figure out how to spend the money, think of your phone number as an and because it can go anywhere. It's quick and easy to deploy. And as you move things around, when one doesn't work, it's still working on the other. So start thinking about that when you're when you're kind of thinking about where you're putting your budgets and how to spend the money. And uh, you know, ultimately, this came from a conversation with um, a client that said to me, "Well, you know, I'm thinking about spending money, but I'm not sure whether I should do this or do this." And that's when we got into the conversation about how it isn't a um, an or this; it's an and.